Is it better to do stretching before or after training? What do you think? After. Okay. And did, did you develop flexibility as a result of doing that stretch? Did you feel looser in the joint after doing that stretch? Yeah. And if you had that looseness in the joint, would it help you with your training? I don't know. <laughs> That's a question. I don't know. For sure. I think so. Yes. Okay. Because I can tell you something, but it doesn't matter because it's what you think at the end of the day that matters. That will give you the range. You can use the range in your training. You do it afterwards, this is two concerns. You haven't got the range during your training. Okay. Number two, are you tired at the end? You're not tired at the end of rugby training and no, then do stretching? But not, a, not at the end of stretching. That's right, but I'm saying at the end of rugby training, you've just done an hour on the, on the yeah, pitch. Tired. You're tired. So yeah. how well are you going to focus on your stretching? Not as good as before. Anything done last is done worst. End of story. Okay. If it's your weakness, it has to be done first. Okay. No matter what other reason, people who stretch last, no, oh, I don't feel like doing it today. Oh, let's cut it a bit short. Oh, I'm so tired I can't focus. You want to improve, do it first. It's not not um, politically correct, it's not the trend of the world at the moment, but it is irrelevant. It is the best thing for you. The only thing that matters is what's best for you. You've got a weakness in flexibility, do it first. Okay.